Okay, I've seen you smiling quite a lot, so you're enjoying the experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I am. I am. Um, you know, everyone says it rains out here, and you know, I've heard people apologize for the rain, but this is what you guys are used to. This is uh, this is normal out here for a summer's day, and you know, I've got to get used to it. You know, I, there's there's no complaining in my end. I'm I'm being able to travel across the world, play some great golf, play a great golf course, and just really have a great tournament. Um, so I, lo I look forward to the kind of challenge that it's going to put in front of me. It's all part of the golfing journey, isn't it? You've got to be tested by all sorts of things. Exactly. I mean, it, it's just, it, that's what we love to do. You know, I, I love to experience new things. It's, it's part of what we do in life. And um, this is just one uh, addition to that. Okay, so when you come into the world of professional golf and you're amateur number one, there's an expectation. What you've achieved over the last couple of years has been extraordinary. Do you pinch yourself? Would you expect that? Tell us about that because it's quite remarkable. Yeah, uh, well, you're, you're not the first one to say the word expectations. And um, how I look at them are goals. You know, I think expectations are what media people put on me and uh, everyone around me, you know, puts. And all I set are just great goals. You know, how do I achieve these goals? And for me, there's really no ceiling that I've, I've ever looked at. It's just how do we check off one box and add two more? And um, that's the drive of just me wanting to get better, me wanting to keep pushing myself. How do I become a better person, a better golfer? And uh, it's just been so much fun. So, yeah, you know, when you have the kind of career you have as an amateur golfer, you know, there's a lot in front of you. But there's been so many golfers like that. And how do you kind of separate yourself? And um, everything's been an opportunity. This is an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to play good golf. And uh, that's, that's how I look at these days. I saw an interview you gave after the WGC you won. And uh, you were open and said, yeah, I picked the brains of a mirror, easing it. There's people out there you're learning from as well, aren't there? Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't... I'm not a person to really ask too many questions. I, I, I love to observe, and, and when I do ask a question, I, I hope it's very meaningful, and I hope you know these people take it with pride and they're able to give me honest answers. And people like Mark O'Meara, people like Paul Eisinger have, have given me tremendous little insights of, of things that they did, but just, just how to go through life. You know, That's the biggest thing, that, that golf doesn't represent just who we are, but it's just something we do and something we're, we're really good at. There's so much more to life. Um, but I love to observe, you know, how do I look around these guys on the European tour that maybe I've never heard of or, or I've never really played with and how do I learn from them? Because I'm sure they're doing something great that I've never even thought of. Um, and, and they play more out here than I ever have or probably will. Um, so, you know, it's just me picking the brains, not really picking the brains, but just observing and, and me learning on my own. Every now and again we get these rolling events coming along that raises the bar. When you look at the field here, this is a good as the majority of tournaments you play in, isn't it? Yeah. Tell us about the quality of field here. Oh, it's amazing. Um, see a bunch of guys, obviously from the U.S., but just the European guys um, that, you know, have membership that split their time between the PGA Tour and the European Tour. Um, it's exciting. You know, when you see good fields like this, you want to be a part of it. You want to play really well and hopefully, you know, have that trophy in your hand on Sunday to know that you beat really a bunch of great guys in, on a great golf course. So uh, it's good to see, you know, just a great field in, in general. It's all part of preparation of what might happen next week as well. How excited are you about next week? Oh, um, I can't wait. You know, it's it's been a long time in the making for me to make my way over to the Open. Um, I was in the field last year. Obviously, COVID happened, and uh, we were never able to play the Open. But to finally be here two years later, um, I've played the other majors, I think, every single one twice now. Um, and this is going to be my first. So I, I'm really excited to finally make my debut.